yeah, family, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again, y'all, to give God our glory, our honor, and our praise, because this right here is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word. See what the word say, y'all. Get into this word and see what the word say. All right. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank y'all for logging on and being a part of the morning motivation. Let's go crazy. Get it to this word and see what the words say, fam. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and rejoice. rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I say, this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall rejoice. Celebrate the breath of life freely given to us. He paid the sacrifice. Jesus Christ with no mistake who I'm speaking of. The precious lamb that was slain in an act of love from above. Praise Yahweh. I humbly yield. Truly my protector, my sword, my shield shielded me as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. I am ultra blessed. Truly blessed. Yes, yes. In case nobody ain't tell y'all this morning, we are all so blessed. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Welcome to the celebration. Morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford and we, all of us together, we are the morning motivational family. Shout out to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part. Thank y'all for logging on. This morning, fam, we're going to be looking at Isaiah. Isaiah 43, fam, y'all, we're looking at Isaiah 43 this morning. Grab your word, grab your word. This morning, we are looking at Isaiah 43. We'll be looking at verses 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Y'all make sure y'all grab your word, man. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for logging on. Thank y'all for being a part of the morning motivational family. If y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button. This way we can get the messages out to as many people as possible. And for those who may not know, this may be your first time tuning in the morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford. And what we do, man, we're here to celebrate. We are here to celebrate the breath of life, man. God gave us the breath of life this morning. He breathed the breath of life into our lungs. And we are here. And so this morning, we're here to celebrate, man. Listen, I get a little bit excited. I don't know about you because I know what God did in my life. I see his work all around me. And that's why I get so excited, man. So hopefully I could get you a little pumped up. If not, man, you know, that's between you and God. Because really, at the end of the day, the, the most important thing that we're here to do is to help you foster a better relationship with him. That's it. We just a community of individuals that come together to give him praise. Come on, y'all. Y'all come on in. Y'all know how we do. Big hug, everybody. Big hug. Y'all grab your word, man. Grab your word. We in Isaiah, y'all. Isaiah. 43 verses 18 and 19. Isaiah verses 43, uh, chapter 43, verses 18 and 19. Let's get into this word and see what the words say, y'all. Let us pray. God, our Father, as we humbly come before your throne this morning, we give you all praise, honor, and glory, God. Mm -mm -mm. You are great and you are worthy to be praised. As we come in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus, we just ask that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read, that you will allow your Holy Spirit to guide us to all truth and all revelation. Father, we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. So the word, y'all, we're looking at the word this morning. Once again, Isaiah 43. Uh, verses 18 and 19, Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. And the word reads, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Come on now. Wow. Well, I love God. Well, that thing say, listen, Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. It says, do not remember the former things, 
nor consider the things of old. Behold, I shall do a new thing. I shall do a new thing. I shall do a new thing. Come on now. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. Listen, man, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie, fam. I am not gonna lie to y'all, fam, this morning. Boy, it's hard to stay in the chair. It is hard to stay in the chair right now, man. It's hard to stay in the chair right now because look what God is saying. God is saying straight up, don't remember what happened in the past. You keep looking at what's what happened in the past and all that. Stuff. He said, don't even consider that. Forget about what happened in the past. Don't even consider those things because guess what? Behold, I will do a new thing. Is there anybody looking for something new, man? If you're looking for something new, just hit that in the chat box, man. If you're looking for something new, man, put some hearts up there. If you are looking for a new thing, put it in the chat box, put some hearts up there. But most importantly, lock in the God's word. Because verse 19 says, behold, I will do a new thing now. I will do it. Forget about what I did in the past. Don't even consider what I did back then. Right now, behold, I will do a new thing when? Now. It says, behold, I will do a new thing now. It shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I'm going to do something. I'm going to blow your mind. Are you paying attention? Will you recognize me? When I come in this way, will you recognize, will you get a credit to somebody else? Will you overlook it? Will you give it the luck? Will you say the universe did it? Or will you praise God for making a way out of no way? Or will you praise God for the new thing that he is doing in your life? He said, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I will make a road in the wilderness where it ain't no road. Where they know but wilderness, where they know but trees and shrubs and, 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 and weeds and rocks and all these things. He said, no, I'll make a road through there for you. I'll make a road straight through there for you. And guess what else I do? I'll make rivers in the desert, in the dry place where it feel like you're getting choked out, sis. Where it feel like you're getting choked out, bro. You can't breathe. It's so dry and brittle. Everything is crumbling. Everything dry, moisture. It just done dissipated. He said, no, I could bring a river through all that. I could bring water where it's a dry place. This is what I can do. This is what God said, behold. Now I can do it. Do you believe? Have you given him opportunity to show up like that in your life? Have you given him, have you positioned yourself so that God can really show up in your life and do a new thing? Or are you so concerned about the past? Concerned about the way it happened last time and the way he fixed it last time? No. He says, behold, I will do a new thing now. Right now, I could do a new thing if you allow him. So that's your choice this morning. That's your choice this morning. If you if you have decided to allow him to do a new thing, sit back, man, and get ready for it. But if you want to hold on to the past and trying to figure it out and work it out with your own mentality, then that's on you, man. That's on you. I can't really, you know, we can't do that. That's the one thing about this. You know what I'm saying? Only thing that a person could do is present it to you. Once they present it to you, then now you have the option to look at the choices in front of you make an informed decision, and then live with the consequences. But hey, don't take my word for it. Get into this word for yourself, family. This is Isaiah chapter 43. This morning we looked at verses 18 and 19. Isaiah chapter 43. This morning we looked at verses 18 and 19. And family, please do yourself a favor. Make sure you read your word. And when you read your word, jump into that comment box and say, I read my word, all right? Y'all know how we roll faith over fear, God over everything. Together, we have made love great again because love never lost its power. It just lost its popularity. And, man, y'all know how it is, man. Come on now. It's been a wrap a long time ago for the foolishness, man. We on reflection. 
We're reflecting over our life. We're being accountable for our actions. We're applying God's word to our life. And we're, and we're getting prepared to make the rest of our lives the best of our lives. I love y'all. God bless you. Hey, man, we signing off, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that share button. And most importantly, read your word. Sharpen your weapon, family, by Bless reading your word. To see another day. That's how we fight back. God is great and he's worthy Sharpen to be your praised. Weapon by we reading thank your him. word, man. I love y'all. We give him all God glory, bless you. all honor, and we celebrate this breath of life yeah. that he has given to us. Let's go. Let's go. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall I rejoice and be glad God in it. Bless you. This is you the day mind, that the Lord has made, man, and we shall rejoice Somebody and be glad word, in it. Man. I say, this is the day that the Lord has made, time. and we shall God rejoice and be glad in it. We okay. shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall rejoice. God bless y'all, man.